What? Get bananas. I'll bring them for the road. Never hurt nobody. I'm not a morning person. Everybody that knows me knows that. Because it's so obvious. It's a little tight, isn't it? It's a bit tighter than I remember. Some things are worth waking up early, huh? Yeah, variety is the spice of life. <laughs> so races usually aren't at 8 a.m. in the morning, but we were originally scheduled for a Canada race and it got canceled because of COVID. So we were able to, America, Porsche was able to kind of squeeze us in this weekend um, at Coda. But our schedule has just been wherever they could put us. So basically the track goes green at eight and that's when our race starts as well. <laughs> so this is as early as it gets for a race. Yeah, so yesterday we didn't drive at all. Um, the schedule was already a bit wacky, so we only had one session, which was qualifying uh, in the afternoon. And the storms came in, and there was a bunch of lightning, so there was a big delay. He's going down to turn 11. I'm going to hit low. What's up with these kids? They, they can play multiple sports, or they just do one they sport? Just, they, just, they, they, they do multiple sports. in the rain but mainly because of lightning and the delay no corner workers um, we were at the very end of the day for qualifying because of the schedule issues again and there was no time left after all the delays and some other previous races that needed to be done earlier that day so uh, the schedule got pushed back and uh, there was no time for us anymore so that got cancelled and um, so we started on points, which is, you know, we're both top 10 starting. Um, but we have driven the cars now in you know, a day and a half almost. And the conditions actually look like they're going to be similar to what we saw on Friday, which is wet track drying. So it would be game over for sure. So damn track, go out on slicks, and then the beginning be a little bit, a little bit tricky and hairy, but just gonna drive throughout the race. So, so it's soaking wet here. Oh, soaking. It's like is as is it as if it just rained like five minutes ago. The tracks, there's not, not much to hit. So caution-wise, I think people are definitely going to spin out. But you know, if they don't hit anything, they can just keep going again. So there wouldn't be a, there wouldn't, wouldn't be a full course caution. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's green the whole the whole race. It's wild. There's no fog. Right? Right now yet? Not oh. where you going right now for? Mix it right now. 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 Right now.
more cars concentrated together, the line's going to dry up a lot faster. Sure. So you just have to, you know, establish position early, stay in the line until it kind of gets where you can take options. Yeah. Because, you know, you, like even one, the guys that I'm, I'm really worried about one. You know, I think we're going to do that yeah. slide inside thing and then come right yeah, on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 And then once there's like a really dry line, then you, you got to pass. You got to go offline to pass. Yeah. So you got to go back on wet. Pass, so you have to really have a yeah, But it works in like 12, you know what I mean? But you understand when you like pass, it means go offline and then you can't leave the guy a place to go. You over slow, stay exactly in front, don't overshoot, let him over under. Sure. And that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yeah, you're locked, you're locked in, yeah. lock him in, yep. or you either get locked in. Greg made an exit, exit, exit. Reminder for me, in these conditions, and in almost all conditions, it's important to focus on exit. I tend to charge the corners a little bit much, which asks a lot from the front tires. In this condition, especially bad, especially painful. So, hoping that I can remember to focus on the exit. Um, exit of turn 12, or exit of turn 11, is a super long straightaway. And if I go in there and charge it, ask too much of the front tires, I'm on throttle, car length, car length and a half behind all the other cars. It's worth about a half a second to well, just three quarters of a second at the end of the straightaway. So this is nice. Thanks, Greg. Yeah. And I theft. <laughs> Leave your car in the parking lot. <laughs> Touche. I mean, they may come on the German checklist because 18.5 is as well as they've let us go so far. So I would speak that up to 18.5 7 a.m. grid open, 7.30 grid closing. If this turn takes, you can't see the one at the top of the hill, we're not going anywhere. So they may push it a little bit. But around 7.15, we were able to open this thing. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to just get a lift. Yeah, it's got to burn off. You know, it's... Because it was actually cooling off through 6.30, 7, and then it was starting to warm up after that. Well, hopefully they find some time for us. If it, yeah, to do a couple, maybe a race or something. Yeah, get us some kind of track time. Yeah. I'm just looking for any errors after warm up or anything like that, you know, just going through, clearing the laps, making sure everything reads zero, everything's, you know, checking out, the steering system's working, it's charging, everything's online and ready to go for the race. So it's basically just going over all the parameters and making sure everything looks good. I think they're going to be dealing with some very slick conditions and they're going to have to hunt for the grip. So the, uh, the one that can find where the grip is is the one that's going to be running the fastest times. Exit, exit, baby. <laughs> exit, exit, exit. Good luck, buddy. Let me know when you're ready. Ready? I'm ready.
kick some ass, Lehman. I'll see you afterwards. A little bit more. Good. Thanks, Bob. See ya. Turn 12 at the end of the back straight for the first time. Lee Keen in second now. And oh my third God. Is Behind the safety car before we went green. So, yeah, interesting. I'm not sure the thing on the red there for Lee Keen. Well, it's been the third for the time. And maybe that is giving him a little bit of grip. Doesn't go across the curb at turn 10, interestingly enough. Just flattens out towards the bottom of the hill there, in your braking area for turn 11, onto the back straight. Sixth position, uh, some super batting here. Lee Keen really struggling. Just let him by, Lee. It doesn't even matter. What's that? Just let him by, Lee. It doesn't matter. You're a lap down now. Yeah. So who the leader is too, then, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's basically yeah. Thompson, Prilix, Dickinson. One, two, three, right now. Let's see from 12 through to 20. Now a little bit of lappery going on here. And that is the. Uh, Marek car, I think they're going by at the moment. That is the still, they're just still their Goodcrest Motorsports car that spun earlier on, so he did get going again. That's the white and red car. So he's being lapped at the moment and steers dutifully out of the way. Car in the gravel trap. Oh, here it is. Which is for his wet weather tyres. And uh, ooh, that was a nasty moment of turn five. Ryan, at this point, we have 20 minutes remaining. Uh, you're running 10 on timing and scoring, but there's two cars in front of you getting the lap. Decent margin, so at the moment, the gamble on the wet weather tyres at the beginning is paying off for him. It is indeed, and uh... you can't get it. You can't. He's like stuck in this spot where you can't get any more heat in the tires and the tires aren't up quite high enough yet to have enough grip so he's stuck in no man's land yeah yeah and we got a penalty so his actual position is not his actual position we're further back yeah we're a lap down three wide behind right up the inside of maxwell roots for the most big car Types. Right up at the moment, 
you know, Ryan Gitts with 311 RS Motorsport. Max McGregor will be very disappointed that he didn't get the qualified. If they're under review, we should be under review as well. Right. <laughs> Can't give it back to them and not to me. <laughs> Classes, Collingwood East gonna hang on, I think. The start was good. First yeah. couple laps was good. Yeah. And then I kept on waiting for the tires to keep getting yeah. warmer. Yeah. And they just plateaued. Plateaued. And I was just stuck. And it looked like everybody else yeah. kept gaining, gaining temperature. As soon as I can pull date, I'll get that stuff yeah. to you. Job out there, guys. Yeah. Keeping the hold, man. That was not good conditions. So. So the first race we started as most people did, and sl on slicks, on a wet racetrack because it wasn't raining hard enough to use rains. Um, so you just have to throw, roll the dice, start on slicks, and then hope the track evolves quickly enough to make that your advantage. And it just, with the high humidity here, the track never really dried until basically the last lap. So Lee slipped back from third to sixth. Uh, Ryan only lost one position to 10th. Uh, so this afternoon, we're looking at 80 degrees, perfect weather. Uh, both guys were very quick in the test with the same exact conditions. So for the next race, I hope to do much better. But we'll be starting sixth and probably ninth based on lap time. Stay up there and call my race. I'm going to okay, go to the I'll snack work. bar. <laughs> How long is your race? 45 minutes. You just go go and, and yeah. then stop. Okay. That's all you got to do. Long run down to the green flag and we're about to go green. Green flag is in the old oh, little brick from Kai Van Berlo. He might get a penalty for that. Straight down the inside. Riley Dickinson in the turn. Well, that's plus lightning. Tight, tight corner and so difficult to get it right. Van Berlo off the track and back on again. He comes up back on the second. Oh shit, what oh. was that? Come on, Lehman. That was a brave kid there. Yeah, he is. Looks like a completely different part of the planet and season and everything from what we had this morning. When Visibility was compromised, when grip was compromised because it was foggy, it was damp, it was horrible side by side through 16, 17 and 18. That's the part of the circuit, that long, 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 long right-hander that destroys the left-hand side tyres. They're all off the track there in 19. That'll be being looked at. It's getting smoking hot out there, i got to bring it in here.
311. Yeah, it was Ryan Gates Indeed. in that car. Yeah, it yeah. was. Oh, and, turn uh, nine. Just, uh, Happens go, to everybody. Go, go, on, go on the power a little bit uh, too, too quickly coming out of... Uh... Damn it. Makes that downhill braking area look very, very easy indeed. I can tell you it's not and where he came from. The right line there and you can see that it's very much rubbered up. Oh, spin for the number 11 again. Flag, last lap, last lap. Hot enough for you? Ooh, yeah, it's a workout out there. <laughs> That's tough. Oh. 45 minutes just flat out. Those guys are pretty fast. <laughs> yeah. oh. Happy with overall uh, overall weekend? Yeah, I mean, I think in the end we probably had a top five car, so. Fifth, you know, this morning didn't go as good as I don't like, but this afternoon uh, feels probably pretty good. We got some things we can work on. We know we know what to do, and the tracks coming up are like some of my favorite ones. So I'm really looking forward to those. Some of those guys were surprising. That's fast. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I, yeah, I mean, the rear end was too. kind of trying to hold, hold on to the rear end. Maybe it was that kind of rollover flat side thing. Yeah. What's that? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm happy, happy to be get out here with the fifth. Right. Yeah, I saw that early on. It was like, same thing, good start. Right in there. Great start. Yeah, right up alongside and everything. Yeah. Start was killer. Yeah. And then um, the rear just. Yeah, it looked right. like three, four laps to the S's, and it looked like you couldn't trust the back. After I had that. completely yeah. changed my line. Yeah. At the end of the S's, yep. just killed tons of speed to stay tight. Yeah. And then after 12, the right-hander killed tons of speed. Yep. If I went wide, yep. it would just light them up. You know, yeah, okay. Stuff bad. Yeah, there. bad deal. And then still low speed, kind of. So and my pressures went high, over 30. Mm -hmm. And then I moved the bias to the front, like a full turn. Yeah. Went ABS 3. Yep. And that brought them back down in the mid 29s. Okay. And then I was kind of there. Yeah, you were on three the whole time, right? I started one, went to two, okay. came to three, and then went back to two after I put by it all the way forward. Yeah. So I think you're close to the right thing, you know, like one or two for the start, and then as soon as things get hot and up the temp, you just have to go to three to protect the back. Three, so. okay, yeah. I went to two instead of three. And yeah, I was loose all the way through the triple oh, right hander. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Riley went. Oh, I I saw a side by side. Oh, that was yeah. awesome. I passed, yeah. him, passed him on the inside of 12. Yeah. And then he drove in into 13, the right hander. Yeah. We kind of bumped a little bit. Yeah. We went side by side yeah. all the way. Yeah, we got the, the triple right hander. Yeah. And then the right hander, he said he was just kind of stuck pushing. Yeah. And I was trying to power down, and every time I tried to 
accelerate a little bit past him, yeah. the rear come, yeah. <laughs> then I would be like, whoop, yeah. whoop, yeah. about three times. Yeah. Like, he's right here. Yeah. Well, you should have gone for it, because he's got something to hold it. I could have lean on him. Yeah. Put a donut oh, on him. Yeah. That's pretty high speed for here, though. Just a, <laughs> just a donut? Come on. Maybe a second. Yeah. So, and then he was on the inside through 20 or whatever. Yeah. And got 19. Through. Yeah, I saw 19. You had to let him buy, so, or let him go. Yeah, I mean, it could have gone a bunch of ways. So, the three of the cars in front of you both had, they limited out on the uh, track limits. They did? Yeah. So, they had both their warnings, and one more they were out. You had one only. You know, one track limit yeah, warning. So, you know. Being, I was being, I had to start being super careful with the tires. Yeah. You know, of course, track, I was waiting for you to say track limits. Well, but I just figure it's not important until you need to know, which is when you have two. Yeah. Then it's like you gotta yeah, yeah, not yeah, have it again. Yeah, so. for sure. So, yeah, that was sick. Pretty Pretty interesting. So, how was your race? Spinner, spinner, chicken dinner. I spun twice. Out of, out of one. Yeah. Power. It, it could look, I mean, it looked pretty good. You came up over the top, had a good run going, but then when you got on the throttle, I think you got all the way on the throttle. So I'm not sure what happened. It just was a slow spin, and then you know, just as it comes over the crest. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just as the car sort of landed, it could let go on. And then again, after I made a position back, uh, I was through the S's. Was in the S's. Yeah. At the, at the last one. Just was like well, slowly spin around. Yeah. So I was fighting the rear really bad, but not to the point where it was undrivable, but just kept losing it. We need a rear well, that was tough. Now. Hey, we got. I got my worst race of the season out of the way. <laughs> That's, yeah. That's it. It's over.